Hi, my name is Paweł Spechalski and from time to time, instead of building a new drone or airplane or big copter, I like to build an airboat. You know, the airboat, if you ever saw any movie that's happening on the Everglades, uh, Florida, Miami, this, this kind of stuff, you, you know what I mean. It's a flat a uh, flat boat uh, with the huge water and the very bigger propeller in the back that can just go through the water, through the grass, to the ground, no matter what it is. I like to build something like that on the RC scale, of course, uh, from time to time. My first model was lost during the uh, second second cruise because <laughs> uh, the tower on which the motor was installed just disintegrated and it was like okay it was late i did not really wanted to risk my life to recover uh, a model the second one the second one was fine i even made a video about this uh, like two years ago Al yeah almost two years ago it was more or less fine it only had a problem when you were going really really fast because that the, there was only one motor one propeller the torque of the propeller was like uh, tilting this uh, to to one side and you were not able to turn uh, in in the other direction it kind of sucked but but okay it, it was more or less fine this year Actually, I started last year and it took me more than a year to finish this project. I've built something slightly different because instead of using one propeller and just a receiver servo and the motor, I've built an airboat with INAV. Yes, with INAV there is a GPS, there is a FPV feed, there is a v, uh, camera, you can configure everything with the configurator and, and stuff like that. No, RTH and Return to Home is not really working because INAV cannot work only with the rudder, but nevertheless, nevertheless it's there, but it also has two motors, not, not four, two motors. Why two motors? They are rotating in opposite directions. That means that the torque from both of the motors is more or less um, negating each other and there is no, no tilt to one side if the motors are spinning slightly faster. Um, it's, it's a design. It's a design. Uh, most of the elements are 3D printed. I will not share the designs anywhere because the motors are, you cannot buy those motors with the whole spacing. It's only for incher and uh, the compartment for the FC and the receiver and the GPS is only for my needs and the uh, tower on which the camera stands is also for, for it's very specific but the design is really relatively simple. Um, the design does it work? Yeah, does it work? Yeah, um, yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. It's even, it's even kind of coolish. Unfortunately, I, had, I did not really thought, thought everything through. And in in the beginning, I wanted this to work on 4S, but then it turned out that the flight controller with PDB I had uh, cannot work with 4S. 3S is already overheating this, and the motors are relatively high kV because I think the motors I'm using are something around 2,900. 100 kV uh, so they really should they really the whole setup works relatively fast with only 2s battery yeah, even on 7 volts it's like cutting through the air like crazy and there are some problems with the battery because I had only very old uh, 18650 from the old laptop and they are just dying immediately with high current so this is not really I, I'm waiting for better batteries to make a spe special a special battery for this and also to modify INAV so it can work with rudder and really have the return to home functionality on the boat and also I made a few mistakes. I've put all the elements on one side so this one side is heavier and that means that uh, it goes deeper into the water so you cannot turn to the other side. If you are going fast enough, it's just um, too deep into the water and you, you, you see that there's a, there's a wave that it tries to turn, but it's really have troubles. It has no trouble turning the other way around, but it, it's like, let's say, different, different kind. Also, in the beginning, I thought that the differential thrust I'm using is helping. Then I thought that no, the differential trust is not really helping, it's only making things worse. And now I really think that the differential trust is really helping. I did not, the motors are relatively close to each other, so the moment of force that the differential trust can generate is not that big. So I will probably go back to the differential uh, trust, but with slightly lower weight. So it will be only like, mm, I have to fix the lateral. 
yes, lateral balance, so it uh, sits directly into the, equally on both sides in the water, and you can turn in both sides. It's only slightly too light, slightly uh, too uh, not not wide enough, and it already like. <laughs> Um, when the first time I was uh, say, cruising with this thing, uh, the waves were kind of biggish and it just <laughs> flipped over. I had to get it from the water and then uh, electronics were going crazy. But either way, I mean, even after five minutes into the water, the seas and the motors are 100 completely fine. It's still, it's still, it's still working. I will, I will do something funny. Fun, fun with this. At least I will try as soon I was as I will try to modify the INAV so it can work with the rudder, and you really have the return to home uh, possibility on not only on airplanes and drones but also on boats. I also will have to make this better to as battery from the, um, the Lita Cola, Lita Cola. I don't know how to spell this this manufacturer from China. So better battery and then maybe I will send it slightly further hoping that I will be able to go back with the flip of a switch but we will see we will see we'll see it's still the open project I am still gonna modify it uh, slightly but I really I love airboats they are fantastic too just to have some fun on, on the lake on a calm day and this is actually the only RC thing that my children are not afraid to use even if the younger one is only five five years old how old is my younger children oh she's five she's five so she can like like have some fun with it. the older yeah no problem but the younger one like ah I stick I stick I stick and it's not crashing to anything so it's fine um maybe in the future like I said there will be some more materials about the iPod but if you have some foam some Depron and then glue and some spare part build yourself an iPod it's really super fun super fun really a nice project to do over the weekend there's no high 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 skills you just put everything together make it more or less watertight and and that's all that's all <coughs> left right okay i should not make that noise probably um okay i only wanted to brag about my new fancy airboat and uh, that's all for today until the next one bye bye